final score here at the Quarter Tech Racer Road in the Emirates FA Cup for qualifying round. Finished in Ives Town nil, Halifax Town 3. Joining me now is the manager of St Ives, Ricky Mahaneke. Ricky, bad luck. You must be, despite the scoreline, very proud of the players. Yeah, I'm, I'm gutted for them. I'm immensely proud. I was proud before the game. I'm even uh, more proud after the game. I thought that apart from the first 15 minutes where we showed them a little bit too much respect, um, I, I take part responsibility for that because we, we tinkered with the shape and the formation and it didn't quite work. Um, and we allowed them too much ball, too much possession, too much territory. Um, but we changed it after 15 minutes and then got the sucker punch of the goal. But I thought from the goal we, we really started to play, we gave them a game, I thought we finished the, the half the stronger, I thought we should have had a penalty. Um, and the one that hits the crossbar, if that drops in, um, you know, you're going on level terms, but it wasn't to be. We just we, we wanted them to pass it, be a little bit better in the second half, uh, pass it with a bit more purpose, uh, be a little bit more braver, try and play through the pitch to try and get more bodies into attacking areas. And I thought in the second half, for the first half an hour, we were absolutely outstanding. Um, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, second half was a fantastic performance. And the, the effort from Casaboni that hit the bar must have given the, uh, the team great belief at half time. Yeah. Look, we knew that if we played well, we had a chance. It's just in the first 15 minutes, we didn't play very well. Um, and then for the, the last 20, 25 minutes, I thought we, we did. And there's no coincidence that we created chances. Uh, we had the free kick in a dangerous position. Like I said, the penalty shout, the one that hit the crossbar, Johnny Edwards is, is shot from inside six yard box, which the goalkeeper saved. And then in the second half, you know, Enoch's effort that the goalkeeper pulled off a weldy, the, the goal mouth scramble that gets cleared off the line, the other one where he's just got to put it in and he can't quite get it you know, two or three yards out. So you look at this, the, the overall game and chances created, um, we would have probably had the, the, the line share of those. We had, I think, definitely for 70 minutes, we had we controlled the game, we had the line share of possession, and I thought to a man we were absolutely brilliant. I'm just gutted, unfortunately, we went out with a, you know, the, the scoreline. It looks like we went out with a bit of a win pop, but uh, that, that really wasn't the case. I was going to say, 3 0 wasn't really the case at all, was it? It was, um, you know, uh, just a, a flattering scoreline, I guess, wasn't it? Yeah, this, the second goal knocked the stuff out of us. When you're going into the last 10 minutes with a, with a chance to try and uh, get back in the game, a defensive mixed up uh, mix up and when that second goal went in all of a sudden you could see the players uh, their, their energy levels dropped you know they're probably feeling tired and if it's one nil that tired doesn't that tiredness doesn't show that, that, that you know the willingness to try and get another goal drives them on but I think the second goal just knocked the stuff out of us and we couldn't recover. They must be really proud I mean Halifax full-time side you know we've, we've matched them the second half as you say putting a fantastic performance and some of the individual performances as well I mean Jordan Williams at the back Miles Callings with man of the match I mean collectively especially second half it was a really great team effort wasn't it yeah I, I think to a man we were brilliant and now for Tyrone uh, coming into it as well and, and Nabs and Ethan and uh, look, the whole squad is a very very competitive squad we've got 32 league games left and they'll all get their opportunity and they're all play a part going forward um, I, I can't you know to single out players would be wrong um, but I will do with Miles because he's obviously a Cambridge United player I thought he was the best player on the pitch bar nobody and um, Cambridge United have got some player on that hand and just kind of reviewing some of the chances Enoch Gando's chance do you think that was going in or just a great save yeah it looked like it you know we, we had a few didn't we that got us off our seats uh, Johnny Edwards is one in the first half you know you've seen him tuck them away this season and, and couldn't quite beat the goalkeeper and Enoch's effort and the, the scramble and the one that hits the bar and the penalty appeal so we was out of our seats a few times it's just unfortunately we've sat back down and it cooked pretty quickly and just finally Ricky the, the occasion as a whole fantastic crowd here 820 I think it was um, maybe surpassed, top starts surpassed expectations and a lot of locals turned out yeah and it, I think it was important that if we lost we lost in a manner that the supporters would be entertained and I thought that our performance would have entertained them um, we need to hope that a few of them come back because it's not a sustainable for us to be competitive at this league with crowds of 200, 250. You know, maybe if we can get four, five hundred, my budget can double. I can improve the squad, and we can actually yeah. mount a challenge to try and get out of it. Because I think at the moment, with with what I'm working with, the players are overachieving. I think we're playing a, a style of football that is really entertaining. 
Um, so hopefully those supporters will continue to come back, get behind the team, and we can have a, a, a good, good push. And just one final question, looking ahead to Baseford now, back to the nitty-gritty of the league, got seven days rest, as it were. Um, any bumps and bruises from today? Good to see Johnny Edwards come through 90 minutes, given the injury concerns. Yeah, he's been phenomenal the last nine days. Um, it just goes to show when you look after yourself and you rehab properly that you anything is possible. I know what it meant to him personally, um, and he did everything he could to make sure he was fit for this game. So, and he, you know, hopefully he'll have no reaction. But we won't know what the situation is with the players until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine there'll be a lot of sore, uh, sore, sore legs and, and tired legs. And uh, you know, unfortunately, unlike Halifax, we'll be back to work Monday morning, grafting <laughs> out in a building site. So, uh, you know, we'll prepare the best we can and um, and uh, make sure that we're ready for, for back to the nitty gritty and big three points on Saturday. Well, listen, congratulations on the run. Uh, commiserations today, but it's been a, a great couple of weeks I think uh, we, all, we all know what, what it's been running you know, around the club the bars and so forth so well done for, for, for that and uh, onwards and upwards Thanks mate Cheers.